Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Free American. Hi, I'm your host. I am Clay Douglas, another year older. Don't feel much different than I did when I was half this age. And uh, I was just uh, got one of these clips up here I want to share with you. I'll do that in a moment, but first here i got a few callers here that are uh, already eager to get on the air, like this person from the 470 area code. Hello, L.A., who have we got here? What's your name? What do you want? Hey, hey Clay, my name is uh, Jason from... Jason, uh, okay, Jason. California. Who about in L.A., are you? I'm in California. I'm uh, 6'2", about 200 pounds, got blonde hair. I don't hair. give a shit about that. Um, I like to surf. I, uh, I like seafood. I like to walk on the beach. I, um, I You're on the radio. Here. I don't give a shit about what you like. What do you want to talk about? Why did you call in here and tell me what you like to surf? To tell me what color your hair is? Sometimes. I don't give a fuck about that. What do you want? I've got... Why did That's you call into my show? I, I work out like three times a week. I work out like three times a week, sometimes more, depending. I run at so least what? two miles a day. I can read um, Fuck at, that. A, at a rate faster than anybody Fuck I that. know. I did, I'm not here to hear your history, guy. Go, uh, go to I hell. Can do like... All right. Still looking for intelligence on the line here. 417. You got any? What's your name? Hey, hey, Clay, this is Alistair. I'm calling from Quebec. Okay, Alistair. Hopefully Canadians got more common sense and intelligence than the Americans on this show. What's up? I am uh, 6'2". I I don't give a shit. Brown hair. How tall are you? Hey. Brown eyes. I don't care what you look like. You're on the fucking radio. Tell me what you called about. I've got a strong jawline and Fuck really big that. pecs. Ignorant motherfuckers go to hell. Let's get this straight from the start. I don't give a fuck what you look like. I want to know your name and why you're calling the Free American Show. 804. Go ahead, 804. You're on the air now. Hey, how you doing, Clay? This is Jim. I'm calling from West Virginia. Hi, Jim. Uh, yeah, I, was what, hour. I was wondering hmm? what your plans are for the day. What do you got going on after the show? I do my research. That's it. I'm, act- I I'm actually going to be. I'm going to be coming down that way today. I was wondering maybe you want to go fishing or something. No, nah, don't do that. Don't socialize. Don't know who you are. Don't expose myself or my I family mean, to strangers. Well, I mean, maybe I could suck your cock or something while we're fishing. No, you'd drown, you ignorant motherfucker. Don't call in my show with that. You're a fucking homosexual. Could you suck my dick then while we fish? You ignorant fucking trolls. 470, what's on your mind besides sucking cock and tell me how good looking you are? What's on your mind? You got any fucking intelligence or should I just hang up now? Who are you? Where are you? And hey, what Clay, the fuck are you are calling you? in for? What? Hey, Clay, how are you? And happy belated birthday. I'm fine. Phil. I'm fine. Ha- happy belated hey. birthday. This is Phil. I'm calling from Aurora, Colorado. Okay, Phil from Aurora. Keep in mind, I don't give a shit what you look like. Why are you calling the show? Clay, uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm uh, 6'3". I've got brown God hair damn it. Okay. and green Goodbye, eyes. you ignorant motherfucker. 732. Who are you? Where are you? And don't you give like me any shit. You listen to the um, show. You start that shit, I'll hang up on you immediately. 
Got it. I like to eat fish. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of crawfish, but I do like shellfish. Okay, Some you're shellfish. a nigger motherfucker, too. Goodbye. And you know, asshole, that you're a blocked line, and I don't usually take calls, but everybody else is more dumb than you are. Who are you? What do you want? Hey, Clay. It's Jeff from Canada. How are you doing? Good, Jeff. Well, yeah, you know, uh, you got a I'll block will... line here. I can't see your number, but since you're from Canada, I don't give a shit. Go ahead. Yeah, I was watching your show yesterday, and it was um, a pretty interesting show. I enjoyed it, you know hearing about the Jewish race and everything, about how they control the media. And how do you think they were able to get into control after the Holocaust, after the gapping of all of them? First of all, there was no Holocaust. Second of all, they got the banks, the Rothschilds, uh, when they pulled their shit in England, with uh, spreading the rumor that Napoleon won, they took over the stocks. And they control us as... Yeah, the Rothschilds. Rothschilds said, uh, give me the control of a uh, nation's money. I don't care who makes the laws. So the and they've done that in the United lot. States in 1913. They've, uh, they Federal control State. the money. They control the politics. They control the paper, papers. They control everything. And the name just made up the Holocaust, right? Goodbye. No, I'm, I'm trying to. Don't call to, my I'm show trying. again. Don't well, call I'm my show again with a block number I'm trying, and pay I'm Israel. To have a Fuck conversation. you. I'm trying to have a don't talk, no. When I, then you, if you want to have a conversation, motherfucker, you don't talk when I'm talking. Fuck you. I, you're bald. You're kicked. 310, what the fuck do you want? L.A. Hey, Clay. Um, what's the name? That caller, I'm not too sure. Oh, yeah. My name's Ron. That caller, I'm not too okay. sure what was going on with him. It seemed, he seemed to have been a little pro, too pro-Israel for me. Um, yeah, a little pro-Israel. And, and, and he talked over me. That's what Jews fucking do. They try to talk over you yeah, so yeah. you can't hear. They can't hear what you got, you're trying to say. Go ahead. Yeah, my question was... Um, and are, are you listening to that uh, 310? I get a 310 yeah. that calls in here all the time. That's a nest of Jews. Where are you? Oh, really? I hear the sticking in the background. That makes me want to hang up on you. Oh, no, that's tell just your, my dog your, Tell your little clan over there to shut the fuck up if you want to talk to me. Sorry, um, Tucker, be quiet. Yeah, that's just my little rascal here. Um, yeah. So, Clay, in regards to what that guy was saying now, you don't believe what he was saying about Israel being better um, than, you know, most Muslim nations, do you? No. No, neither do I. I just wanted to confirm because for a second it kind of seemed like you were agreeing with him. No. Okay. And um, furthermore, to the point here, Clay, what are your thoughts on the, um, the the Jewish agenda currently in the world? They laid it out for you. Read the protocols of the elders of Zion, and you'll know exactly what they're doing. Everything that the protocols call for is intact in America, and the Jews are behind it, the bankers are behind it. The bankers are the Jews, like uh, the uh, like one of the rabbis said, some people call it communism, I call it Judaism for the masses. Mm-hmm. I should probably mention, um, I'm just below six foot tall, I've got brown hair, uh, green eyes. Um, Fuck you. Almost 200 pounds, I like to play football. Uh, I'm pretty good at baseball, too. Hello, Miami. Who are you? What's on your mind? 305 area code. Wake up. Hey. Hey, Clay. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Okay, Jonathan. What do you want? Jonathan. Uh, I have a quick story to tell you, Clay. Um, I just had a custody battle with my ex-wife, and uh, the court gave her... Uh, custody of our daughter and she moved her up to New York and I just found out yesterday that the building that she's living in is owned by uh, Larry Silverstein. Yeah. Maybe it'll be in uh, disrepair and he'll blow it up too. That's my fear. I've told her, you know, what he did with the World Trade Center but she just doesn't listen. She's calling me a kook. 
Just, I wonder if there's anything you could tell me that I could, you know, get it through to her head. No. The danger is uh, putting Larry her daughter Silverstein. Larry Silverstein and Sherd uh, uh, got the uh, Twin Towers from uh, his fellow Jews at the Port Authority for a few million, insured it for a few billion, and then his friends in the Mossad planted the uh, explosives, the uh, certain type of uh, atomic explosives in the basement and blew it up. What else is there to know? Yeah, but my daughter's living there now. Well, so are other people. Can't help you, bud. You, uh, good luck. Thanks for calling. Clay, Clay, I'm 5'11". I've got brown hair. Oh, brown fuck eyes. you. Go to hell. You made, you had some, you made some points with me for a minute. Ass. Now you're a fucking idiot. I've got a penis that's about seven. You ignorant motherfuckers. Oh, you got a new gig going. Somebody got a new fucking script writer. Good for you. Good for you. 613. Hey, Clay, who are, who are you? you? I you, know my fucking you. name. You know what call you, what show you called in on. What's your name? Where are you? And what the fuck do you want with me? Why would hey, you Clay, want to talk to me? I'm calling from. It's Stefan. I'm calling from Toronto. Okay, Stefan. I my... really enjoyed your uh, show yesterday when you had that guest on. You guys had uh, a lot of interesting things to say. Thank you. Uh, would you? Are you going to be having more frequent guests on your program? I doubt it because most of the people that call in or that it seem to be are supposed to be listening to the fucking show are fucking idiots. I don't give a shit how tall you are. I don't care what your love life is. I don't care how long your fucking dick is. I want to know why you're listening to the show and what's on your mind, and that's it. Got it? Sure. Well, I, well I'm well, i 5'11". I've got the uh, Fuck Hazel you eyes. there. You to blow it again. You, I just said it. I don't give a shit. I just said I don't give a I'm shit really about that. Did you that. hear that? Uh, I'm all of skin. Yeah, that motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Nice broad nose. Curly hair. Yeah. I bet you got a broad nose. You ignorant son of a bitches. Want to know how to piss me off? Oh, quit using your, you quit using your hell out. You want to piss me off? Should I just hang up now? Or you, you got were, fucking something you to say? disrespectful to my son. My son called, wanted to go fishing with you, and you yelled at him. Now I got to deal with this shit. Hey, tell you what. I'm Clay what? Douglas. I'm six foot four. I'm 300 pounds. You can kiss my ass. Well, you're a fat motherfucker then. My no, cock's probably longer than your arm. Not at all, I'm bud. Six, six, you I'm six foot four, and I I can straddle that Harley six, really. Six. Kiss my ass, you redneck How? motherfucker. Go to hell, fucking Jew. Fucking Jew. Fuck you all. You all are ignorant motherfuckers. There ain't even anybody in the chat room other than Jerry. Good morning, Jerry. Fuck these other motherfuckers. I won't take any more calls. And I hope I hope all of you are right here uh, within this 500 mile radius of Yellowstone. They've had a 2,282 percent increase in earthquakes around Yellowstone in the past two weeks. I hope you're sitting on top of it, you ignorant fucking Jews. Four seven zero. You're on the air with Clay Douglas at the Free American. Who are you? Where are you? And what's on your mind? Hey, Clay. How are you? I'm fine. Who are you? This is Cyrus. I'm calling from Connecticut. Cyrus? It's really interesting. That Cyrus, yes. It's so interesting that clips you were playing. I'm okay, a big fan of show, Clay. Uh, I just wanted oh. to say that I'm 6'4". I've got red hair. Hey, hey, eyes. don't do it! Don't do it, motherfucker! Don't you dare do it! I'll write your number. I got your number down here, and I'll never bring you back I'm, up on my I'm fucking call. Big, if you'd start that shit, I won't have it. 
and they ate his penis. Um, Ignorant motherfucker. Cyrus, 470 Call him up and tell him what an ignorant motherfucker, ugly motherfucker he is. I'm sorry, I'm going to start posting these fucking trolls on my goddamn website. Ignorant motherfuckers. Ignorant son of a bitches. How about you, 417? What are you? I will, all I want from you is a fucking name, and then I'll disconnect you and cuss you out and post your fucking numbers up on my website. As fucking trolls. Who are you, 417? One name, that's all I hey, fucking Clay, want from this you. Hey, is Taylor. Hey, Clay, Taylor. this is Taylor. Where yes, are sir. you, Taylor? I'm calling from Vermont. I have two goddamn questions. That's all I want. Two questions and a small question or statement. Where are you, I'm calling Taylor? I'm from Vermont, Clay. I'm calling okay. from Vermont. I got that. What's on your mind? Why did you call me? Uh, I'm not as tall as your last caller. I'm 5'11". God I'm damn it! Goodbye. I... Goodbye, you ignorant son of a bitch. You ignorant son of a bitch. What's wrong with you, fucking Taylor? I don't care how dirty, tall you are. I don't hair. care how long your dick is. You can stick it's it up lighter. your ass for all I care now. Why are you, you going to describe yourself? Well, I just told you. I don't want to hear it. What the fuck's wrong file. with you? Uh, What's wrong with you? Both cheeks. Ignorant motherfucker. Tyler's number is 417-242-4463. Call him up and tell him what an ignorant son of a bitch he is. Okay, L.A., What's your name? And I don't give a fuck how tall you are, how long your dick is, or anything else. Don't start that shit. Don't tell me. You as soon as you fucking say it, I'm gonna hang up on you. Don't you dare fucking do it to me. That's what your that's your soul's new game. Hello. Don't you do it. You understand that? All I want is your name. Oh, this is Randolph. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Randolph. Your little fucking sissy voice. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I'm, you're, you're breaking up. Um, can you hear me? I'm not breaking up. You're an asshole, and you got a sissy phone voice. Is, uh, your phone is breaking up. Can you hear me? No, it's not. I can, can you, hear can you? you, you dumb motherfucker. I can hear you. I said I can hear you. Everybody else can hear me fine. What is Douglas. your name? This is Randall. What is your name? No. Mr. Douglas, I would like to challenge you to a race. Fuck I'm you. Five to, uh, I'm, I'm just a... Seven, three, four. Okay. What do we have from you? I know what my name is. All I want from you is all I want is your name and where you're from Ohio. Fine. Now give me a fucking name. My name's Andrew. All right, Andrew. Um, I'm not... <laughs> I'm five foot two. Nope. I got nope. a big cock. Don't you, don't you do it. I'll hang up on you right fucking now. Don't you do 142 it. 142 pounds. You ignorant motherfucker. 417. Hey, Clay. 417. You caught me Go in ahead. The, uh, hey, hey, Clay. You caught me in the shower. Um, Bullshit. I just, I, I'm going to lay in the line, line motherfucker. All I want is your I name, mean, motherfucker. Alex. Okay, I mean, Alex. Alex. That's all uh, I want to know. Now, why are you calling? I I enjoyed your clips, and I was wondering where I can find uh, more information. And uh, I'm five. FreeAmerican dot com. FreeAmerican dot com. Brown hair, black. Goodbye, you dumb motherfuckers. That's it. Hello, three oh five. Hello, 305. You mean 503? You're on the Free American. I'm Clay Douglas. What's your name? My name is Hunter. Okay, Hunter. What are you calling about? Yeah, well, you know, I just want to thank you for giving a safe place to Jewish people to come and talk about. Fuck you. 
You're a liar. And you, asshole, I've hung up on you three times because you've got a block number. Why do you keep I don't calling have here? A I, this is the first oh, time. Oh, you I lying call. son and of you a bitch. You're a lying cocksucker. Clear my line. System. Clear my you lines, you motherfucker. I have something to It's say. not my phone system, you dumb yes, son of a is. bitch. I have called no, it's not. On a no, yes, it's it not. Quit you calling to my show. Quit what calling my saying? show! Calling my show! You fucking troll! You're nothing but a goddamn harassing troll! Quit calling my I'm not number! I'm harassing you! I have to you are. Say and you, you need to fix your phone system! You're a lying son of a bitch! There's nothing wrong with my phone system! I've been getting yes, calls all day! Is. Yours is the only one that, Yours is the only one that's blocked, you lying! Cock sucker! My number You're is a fucking not queer! Blocked. You're a fucking Jew queer! My I number don't want to hear from blocked. you! My number is not Shut blocked, up. Clay. You're I'll lying! You. You're lying! You're lying! You're lying! You're lying! You just keep saying what I'm you lying. Want? How can you... Say you lying, you motherfucker! Say what you got to say and get off my line and don't fucking call my show again. Yes. I have two books I like to sell, and I can give my number I out. don't sell anything on the show. Shut up. I don't sell anything I on the show. Don't play. call my line again, you ignorant, fucking, harassing punk. Don't call play. my show again. You are Goodbye. 503, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Hi, Clay. How are you? I'm sorry about that troll. Who are you? What do you want? Make it quick. My name is Hunt, Hunter, and I just want to thank you for giving us homosexuals a, a space. you are got no fucking... I don't want homosexuals here. I don't give you nothing. I don't like you. Go to hell. Seven, Ooh, three, four. What do you want? Hi, Clay. What you... What's your name? I know my goddamn name. Hey, I know what show oh, you well, call. Well, What's your name? And what well, the fuck do you want? Don't talk over me. Settle down. I'm six foot five, 194 Fuck you. pounds. Fuck you. I don't care. I don't care what size you are, you dumb motherfucking troll. One more. 310 on L.A. Fucking troll. Homosexual. Jew troll. Hello. Who are you? What do you fucking want? Hello, Clay. Mr. Douglas, how are you? I'm fine. I know my name. What's yours? Yes, this is Arthur. Clay, um... I just wanted to say your show has been very inspirational to my family and I, and um, my son um, is, uh, is is going to be having his bar mitzvah soon, and we're going to be naming our new baby, um, Clay Schwartz, after you, the famous Clay Douglas. Fuck you. Fuck your family. Fuck your son. Don't name him. Don't name him after me. Hey, I Clay, consider Clay that Schwartz an insult. I consider you an insult. I consider all fucking... Homosexual Jew, I'm surprised you got a son. Shut up! Goodbye. 503. What's your fucking name? Why are you calling me? My name is my name is Clay, like yours. And I was just wondering, um, have you ever shit in anyone's mouth, or has anyone ever shit? And I see here we've got the one, one, one. You're really Clay, a you dumb motherfucker, me? aren't you? No, Clay. You have not been... I don't sell anything on the show, and I don't like uh, somebody calling in with a block number, especially a I'm lying motherfucker like number. you. Don't talk Clay, over me. This is my show. This is my show, Clay. you dumb motherfucker. It's my show, not yours. I Quit think you calling need to prove me. that my number is not blocked. You have not stated one evidence. You just keep saying it's blocked when I tell you it's not. So you, it's, you need, you're I'm, the I'm one looking at it. You're calling me a liar, so that makes you my fucking enemy. You're you're not welcome on the show. Go away. Clay, Don't fucking call back you, in, you dumb motherfucker. Clay, Goodbye. Clay. Goodbye. 503, what the fuck do you want? You're the last caller of the day. What do you want? I would just like to know, when you had your bar mitzvah, what, what, what go to did hell. you have? 
Oh, go to hell. hell. I didn't have a bar mitzvah, you Jewish dumb motherfuckers. Another California pansy here. 310, what the fuck, what's your name and what the fuck do you want to talk to Clay Douglas for? Mr. Douglas, uh, my name's Craig. How are you today? A little pissed off. A little tired yeah, of you sound, fucking trolls calling you in. You tired talk, of you, you fucking Jews. Me, you great. ask, I ask, that why you, want, you gotta be Jewish because you talk over me. When you ask me a question you, uh, and then talk, you fucking please, talk, talk over, talk me. over me. me. Just let me, let me, let me talk, please. I'm calling into your show to talk. I mean, um, now, Clay, what can I do for you? You can't do nothing for me. Hang up. Go to hell. <laughs> That's what you can do for me. Go to fucking hell. Are you goddamn Jews calling in on the show because you heard me on Howard Stern? Well, he's a dumb motherfucker, too. Just uh, com- just listen to the show and listen to what these fucking callers do. Listen to what they say. Listen to how they do that. Waste my time. Tie up the telephone lines, lie through their teeth. I'm sitting here looking at my screen, looking at that screen, and they're telling me, "Oh my, my callers, my lines not blocked." My no, no, you must be lying, Clay. Or you must be blind. My, you're looking at the. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to sell two. I want to. I want to sell two pairs of shoes. Ignorant goddamn trolls, ignorant lying motherfuckers. Ain't gonna put up with it, folks. Just ain't going to do it. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Free American. I'm your host, I am Clay Douglas. I am the Free American. I did take an oath to defend the Constitution, and there was no expiration date on that. And I hope many of you have done the same thing here and are standing by me. Now, recently I started taking calls right at the beginning of the show just to get it out of the way. And that may have made a negative image on you uh, folks that have just started listening to the show. Now, what you need to know is that when I started the Free American, the reason I started the Free American was because of I watched with all of you, I watched the government agency, the BATF, murder 17 little children and their families to save them from a uh, accused pedophile, David Koresh, at a little church in Waco that had been there, <laughs> that had been there for 50 years. Actually, it wasn't in Waco. It was a little town called Elk, Texas, just outside of Waco. And this was uh, in a little farming community. And David Koresh and the Branch Davidians were selling weapons, buying and trading and selling weapons at gun shows and not doing a damn thing illegal, and they had, there was a family operation, and there was no evidence of child abuse or pedophilia ever presented. And I, as I watched the flames engulf this church, not a compound, a home filled with children, families, I swore that I would never, and I was, half the time I was sitting on my boat out in the middle of the Gulf Stream, 
down off of Fort Lauderdale in Miami, cussing at the TV, and I told my wife at the time I would never sit back and watch something like that happen on television again without trying to do something about it. And what I did is start this radio show, the Free American Magazine, and I encouraged everyone to start the militias around the country. And I was attacked by groups of Jews, organized groups of Jews, like the Anti-Defamation League and the Southern Poverty Law Center, who used me as the uh, bad guy, the scapegoat, to uh, be afraid, be very, very afraid. Clay Douglas is starting the militias to raise money to promote their agenda, which is to get your guns and to try to get me killed by a cop. They succeeded in getting me uh, listed in not only in their brochures, one was armed and dangerous. I called them up in New York and told them, you got something, uh, you assholes finally got something right. I am armed, and if you uh, go after my children, my uh, town, my state, my country, I'm definitely dangerous. Now, what's happening with these trolls is they don't want you to know this information. They don't want you to know that this is the this Federal Reserve is the materialization of created by Babylonian money magic, and it's a con game. The we don't have we shouldn't have a national debt, and that the so-called Jews that Jesus warned you about that the reason they killed him was because he ran the money changers out of the temple. They don't want you to know that. And so they want to interrupt the show. Now, people have told me, well, Clay, why don't you, why don't you just uh, not take calls? Because there might be some of you out there that want to encourage me and thank me for what I'm doing here what I did with the Free American, because almost uh, 25 years ago, I did help start the militias. I encouraged the militias. When they put me down for it, I simply said, what part of the Second Amendment don't you understand? They don't want you to know about that either. They don't want you to... I posted the protocols of the elders of Zion on my website, so they tried to tell you I was racist, that I was anti-Semitic. That's all bullshit. And now they, the ADL put me out, armed and dangerous. False patriots from the Southern Poverty Law. Guide to right-wing extremists by the FBI. All of the information they got from the ADL and Southern Poverty Law. And... Fortunately, I was living in New Mexico at the time, and Governor Gary Johnson, when I called him, said, don't worry about it, Clay. I pulled that brochure from every police station in New Mexico. Now I'm in Texas, and I'm doing this radio show still, and so these trolls are coming in here and coming on here and trying to... Uh, disrupt this show, they want to tell you how tall they are, how long their dick is, and, and, and uh, trying to make you believe somehow I'm one of them, I'm some kind of homosexual, I'm, some, uh, I'm, I'm this or I'm that, and they want to try to interrupt the show. People have told me, well, Clay, why, why don't you just screen their calls? Because I'm the only one doing this show. And it takes as much time to screen their calls and find out who they are as it does to bring them on and let them talk and let you hear what a deceitful, what a lie, bunch of liars and lunatics 
and evil people they are. So I bring them right up in the show, right up front. I ask them two questions. What's your name? Where are you? What do you want? Three questions, sorry. And I let you hear what they're trying to do. Then I will hang up on them and get on with the show. So I bring them up here for your perusal to see what evil, ignorant people they really are. 872 area code you're on with the Fear American with Clay Douglas. Who are you? Where are you? 872. Hey, Clay, this is Victor. I'm calling from Chicago. Hello, Victor. What's on your mind? Why are you calling into my show? Well, I heard... Uh, That's FreeAmerican.com you're calling into. I heard your introduction at the beginning of the show. I, I didn't know that you had a connection to the uh, David Koresh story. It, you know, really brings a whole other level of insight into your story and why you do the things you do. And, you know, coming up on the July 4th holiday, and I just want to thank you for being a true patriot and standing up for the Constitution, standing up for true American values. I know you get a lot of flack from people, but, you know, you keep going and you keep persisting and, you know, you're you're what the Constitution's all about, Clay. Thanks a lot for doing what you do. Well, thank you, sir. It's, uh, I do what I do because of the families that were murdered by our government at Waco. And I do what I do for the people out there, the people that live in this country. I try to educate you. I try to give you some insight. And I don't do it for fear mongering. Natural disasters happen like Yellowstone. What do you do about that? Do you think uh, FEMA is going to help you? I've seen FEMA. I filmed the first Homeland Security meeting where uh, Colonel John uh, Brinkerhoff was telling you what FEMA was going to do. uh, FEMA's preparations are to round you up, take your guns. They don't tell you how to prepare for it. I'm telling you how to prepare for it, how to store food, grow food, how to protect yourself, your neighbors by working together. And thank God for people like you, Clay. I just want well, to say you, sir. that um, just want to say that I'm six one. I've got green eyes. Hey, oh, don't do it! Don't do it! You don't blow it! Don't you pull Brown that hair. shit on me? Goodbye. Thank you for your call. As soon as you start telling me how tall you are, how much you weigh, or how long your dick is, you'll hang up on you, and I'll never take your fucking calls again. Do you understand that? Three two three. Do you understand that, 323? Three, three? I don't care how tall you are, how long your dick is, or how close your ass is to the ground. Do you understand that, 323? Three, three? I do. Okay. Hello, Clay. Now, what's Grib your name Nation. and where are you? Grib Nation from Los Angeles. Well, okay. Joel. I've seen you here in my chat room. I appreciate you listening, Grip. Thanks. Yeah, uh, really quick. Uh, I have a few questions about Donald Trump, if that's okay. Hello? What about Donald? Okay, so once again, I don't, I've don't. i never really voted. But one of the reasons why I didn't vote for anybody in this left-past election was because I was reviewing some, some videos of Trump dating back to 2004. When he was given an interview, they said, what is your political preference? He says, I consider myself Democrat because the country tends to run better off with the Democratic in office. Do you think he's a real well, Republican or do you think I feel I feel like he's more of an independent and or I feel like he want to be president. I think he's more of an independent. I think he says I all agree. the right things. But I think he's uh he is uh being controlled. I think he has a Jewish handler, 
that would be his son-in-law, who lives at uh, 666 Fifth Avenue. Oh, God. And, uh, you know, whether uh, he's going to do the right thing or whether he's going to bend over for Netanyahu, I don't know. We're just going to kind of have to wait and see. I think the important thing is, would you rather have him in as your president or Hillary? I know well, what him, Hillary of course. is. Oh, yeah. that's it. So we got the uh, lesser of two evils, but it still <laughs> could be evil. Right. But uh, Well, thanks, Clay. I appreciate it. Oh, and uh, happy late birthday, by the way. I, I try to call in yeah. today. And- I, I, those, I guess, no more calls being answered. So now, what was your name? I mean, again? I, even though I don't listen all the time. Uh, Joel. Joel. Okay, Joel. Well, I like yeah. seeing you. I try in the to call sometimes, even, even if I don't listen to the show. Like uh, on, in the morning, I, I catch up on the show later. You know, I'll go online and I'll, I'll go into your website and hear the show later on. So, like right now, I'm about yeah. to start. Work, I, but, I, uh, I craft my show so that my brother's on two wheels can just call in and put those headphones on and uh, listen while they're riding, you know? All right. Thanks well, thank again, Thank you again, Clay, for taking my call. And uh, keep up the good work and big fuck you to those trolls. And you just thanks, keep doing uh, what thanks you're doing. For, right? Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. Nice to get a, a real person on here on this chat room. Thank you. Thanks, Clay. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. And my uh, little uh, taking the call now from my little troll pool down there in the 310 troll pool in L.A. Hi, Clay. Clay, Hello, who have I got Come here? On. It's Devon. How are you doing? Who? That caller was very. Uh, it's Devon. That caller sounded very genuine. Um, he brought up a he bunch of good genuine. points about He's Trump. He's a grip nation in the chat room. He's a real person. Yeah, he sounded How about cute, you? and he had some good points about uh, Donald Trump. I mean, maybe he was just allowing his um, decision to be based too much on the media say about Donald Trump, which a lot of people are doing. Um, I don't agree with that. I'm also a supporter of Donald Trump. Um, now, Clay, yesterday you had a lot of callers calling in. Um, there was this one guy named Cyrus from Connecticut. He was 6'4 with red hair and green eyes. Uh, he said he had a big bulbous package and a huge penis. I wonder if you can give me his number. No. And I don't appreciate anybody giving their description out on uh, my rock and radio show. I don't sell shoes. I don't I sell penis pumps. I don't do anything like that. And I don't share numbers. I don't give out anybody's numbers. And you've just proven yourself to be a waste of my time. Goodbye. 812. Who the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you? And what's on your fucking mind? Hey, Clay. Evan from Indiana here. What's your first name? Okay, Evan. What's up? Um, What's wanted, on your mind? I wanted to you talk got, about you, 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 super. What? I wanted to talk about the uh, super volcano. Okay. You know, it, that's it's something insane. that should be I on mean, all of I, our minds. I mean, it should. I, I heard it. I heard your clip, and I started doing uh, Google searches, and you know, it's true that there have been like I think people should do it for themselves. There's been like 800. Uh, earthquakes in the past two weeks, I think, and the media, the mainstream media isn't even covering this. You know, what happens if that thing explodes? Like, we're all going to be gone. Well, we won't all be gone unless you're in about a 500-mile radius, but it will affect our uh, weather, our food, and everything, probably for the next decade. Well, they they say that the ash will cover, you know, the sun and, you know, that'll affect crops and the weather and 
basically like throw us into like a dark age. It certainly could. I wonder why like the media isn't covering this. It's like the biggest story. Instead, they're talking about Trump and this like fake Russia thing. Yeah, the whole thing with Russia, you know, the the whole uh, Cold War was a scam. The Russians weren't our enemy. Only uh, after Absolutely. they killed the, uh, only after they murdered the Tsar and the Jews took over, the Bolsheviks took over, staffed the uh, Politburo with the Jews. Then it was, oh, the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. They created a credible enemy, the mainstream news, created our enemy and armed them. They built the all of these uh, uranium-based uh, nuclear power plants so they could build enough atomic weapons to blow up the world. That was your Jews at work. That was the Bolsheviks at work. That was your Jacob Schiff at work. They uh, they did it. And, you know, we could have, I, I like to point this out, They we could have safe nuclear power with, uh, I think it's, Trinium or something like that. That's not the exact word. They could, uh, we could, uh, we could have safe nuclear power, but you can't make atomic bombs with it. So the whole nuclear power plant is a way our enemies took over, and maybe we're going back. To, we got to go back ten thousand years to find the enemies that had the first world war. The same enemies that uh, blew up planets, the ones that created the uh, nuclear waste uh, here on this planet, still can uh, detect the radiation over there in India. Absolutely, And they tell sir. us about it. So since it seems like we don't have a lot of time in this world, I just wanted to say that um, 5'10", I've got brown hair and brown eyes. Uh, it's got don't a do strong it. jawline. Don't do it, you ignorant. Hey, how come you got to be an ignorant motherfucker right up until the end? How come? Why? I work out Eight every one, two, day. Fuck you. So. Go to hell. 915. Who are you? How fucking tall are you? How long's your dick? Go ahead. Nine one five, speak up. Hey Clay, how are you? This is Anthony. I'm calling from El Paso. Okay, Anthony. Be be careful what you say, what you do. You're close enough. I can ride over there and kick your ass. Go ahead. What's on your <laughs> mind, Anthony? I'd love a visit from you, Clay. I'd love a visit from you. You wouldn't like it if I showed up. If you if you start this bullshit with how tall you are and all that shit, I don't want to hear that shit anymore. That's program. That shows when as soon as they start out with that, that means uh, they're in with this cartel, ignorant fucking Jewish control freaks. So don't do it. Well, Clay, if you need to find me, no, um, I I can already uh, I can uh, already uh, hear uh, your handler. I can already hear your handler in the background snickering. Blue eyes, so brown hair. So tell him stick it up your ass and what? Goodbye. Eight oh four. Hey Clay, how you doing? This is Gunner. I'm calling from Alabama. Okay. What's on your um, mind? My question, my question is about the super volcano. Um, how high up is this explosion going to be? I mean, is everyone going to be screwed within the surrounding states or what? Well, since it's uh, been about uh, 400,000 years or so since uh, we've had a super volcano, I don't know. I don't think anybody else does either. But the ash cloud could uh, go up. You wouldn't have any more airplanes flying around anywhere. And it'll uh, it'll affect uh, probably a 500-square-mile area. 
that are circled anyway around it. So, and uh, when I get through getting rid of all these trolls, we'll go back and listen to a little bit more of it. Would the explosion be uh, bigger than your cum? Goodbye, ignorant. I'm six foot five. Ignorant motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And one more. Fuck you for you blocking your goddamn phone. Don't do it anymore. I'm just going to, you know what I'm going to do this time? After I kick you this time when you come back, I'm just going to let you sit there and listen to the goddamn show. And I'm never going to pick up your call and never going to talk to you again. You know, do you understand that motherfucker? Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug, is it? Am I on? What? Is this is this Doug? This is Clay Douglas, you dumb motherfucker. I don't take block calls. Goodbye. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. Hey, hold on. You still there? I got a question for you. No, you didn't ask the question. Fuck you. 418, what do you want? Hello, Clay. This is Francois. What do you want? This is Francois. I'm calling from Quebec. My name is Francois. I'm calling from Quebec. I'm sorry. Francois, what do you want? I just wanted to talk about this uh, super volcano. Uh, yeah. You're the only person talking about it. And uh, I think it's uh, yeah. very important. Uh, nobody in the Canadian media, nobody in the American media, Europe seems to be discussing this. And this is something that will have a worldwide uh, effect on everybody in the planet. And it will. It's unfortunate that uh, the only person that seems to be talking about it is a blog, blog host. Everybody else is just putting their their head in the sand. I think it's very important what you're doing, Clay. Thank you very much. Why don't you why don't you uh, two, run I've got to the queen? Brown hair. Uh, I'm six two. And you're not from Quebec either. I see we still got the uh, one one one. Fuck you, one 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 one. Fuck you, your your block calls, and fuck all you other people that want to tell me how tall you are. Go to hell. I'm not talking to anybody else. First of all, that ain't Marco. That's the uh, troll. And uh, let's see who else we got on here. Marlov, Shavaro, Suncoast, Ricky. Oh, hello, Ricky. Hello, you ignorant son of a bitch. What are you doing in my chat room? Go to hell, Ricky. Get out of my chat room. You don't know how to dial a phone, you ignorant son of a bitch. Like all these, all these trolls can do it, but you can't. You can't get it on the fucking phone. You can't dial in, you dumb son of a bitch. Why would I let you on and you can't dial a goddamn telephone? Dial in like everybody else. Do you think you're special, you ignorant cocksucker? Why would I do that? Clayton, let me out, let me out. Learn to dial the goddamn phone, you dumb son of a bitch. Well, since the callers are doing so well today, I've got some a lot of ignorant motherfuckers on here. Here's one from the 346. What do you want? Who are you? Where are you? And what do you want? Don't give a fuck how long your dick is, how, how close your ass is to the ground. And you start down that way, I'll just hang up on your dumb motherfucker, and I'll never let you goddamn come back on again. Who are you? First of all, that ought to be a fucking simple question. Even a feeble fucking Jew can follow that. Who are you? Hey, Three, four, hey six. Clay, this is pa- Clay. This is Paul. I'm calling from Houston. Where? 
This is Paul. I'm calling from Houston. Houston, okay. That's encouraging. Texans at least got a, a little bit of common sense. What's on your mind, Paul? We definitely do. Don't mess with Texas. Clay, um, so what's uh, on your mind? Here. Goodbye. Got a Auburn here. Ignorant motherfucker! Fuck you, ignorant motherfucker! Go to hell. My eyes are hazel. And you're a dumb motherfucker. One of you, one of the by another fucking dude. What's your What's your name? Hey, what's going on, brother? This is Clay. I'm just on the road, giving you a call in, checking up with the show. Yeah, who are, Who are you? Yeah. Um. Just out here for a ride, Clay. Got you on the headset. Sorry if it's a little noisy. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the Gypsy Gypsy Jokers. My name's Clay. They call me Spider. Okay, Spider. I know uh, the Gypsy Jokers. Met a few throughout the yeah. years. Sorry if it's a little loud. I'm on the bike here, Clay. But listen, I'm wondering what kind of what kind of piece you riding there? You got a Harley? Ninety nine Road King. You ride it every day or what? Us Gypsy Jokers are heading down to 69 later on this week if you want to join in. No, thanks. What else on your mind? Why not, Clay? You can't ride with us uh, crazy bikers? I ride with a lot of crazy bikers, but I probably won't ride with you. Oh, yeah, I got some fucking Chinese guy ahead of me right here. I got to slow down. All right, Clay, so uh, how's your day going there, bud? How's your day going, bud? That's going fine. Why did you call? Uh, I'm just calling in to, you know, give you some support from those uh, two wheel brothers. Okay, well, thanks for your call. Goodbye. Us Gypsy Jokers are rooting for you, Clay. All right, appreciate it. Thanks for your call. All right, brother. Ride. 872. You're on with Clay Douglas. The free American. Who are you? Hey, Where Clay, are you? It's an honor to speak to you. This is Keith from Chicago. Okay, I'll try not to hold that against you. <laughs> uh, you might, uh, uh, if you run you. across, if you run across your ma- your mayor there, tell him I said to kiss my ass. Oh man, I tell him that all the time. He's a piece of shit. What's your name? <laughs> This is Keith. Again? Okay. Keith? Okay, Clay, what's on uh, your mind? What did you, why did you call I normally, me? normally don't have the opportunity to listen to your show live, but I did today, and I just wanted to call in and give you my support. All these damn trolls trying to bring you down and, you know, do good service, so. Just wanted to let well, you know that there's legitimate your- people out there who enjoy your show and enjoy what you got to say and you know we got your back i appreciate that man thanks and if you're ever in chi town i'm uh 510 i've got blonde hair don't blow it bud don't blow it yeah you almost had it going there for a second okay and are you dumb motherfucker with the block uh, calls Goodbye. I'm not going to let you listen either. All right. Let's see where we got in the uh, chat room. You know, Ted, I'm really tired of your bullshit. I either want your phone number right now, right now to be able to call you, talk to you right here on the air, or I'm kicking you off and banning you from this show forever. I'm tired of your Jewish bullshit. And all of your Jewish friends bullshit. I'm tired of you. I'm sick of you. And when I kick you this time, I won't ever let you back. There's no fucking Rabbi Carl here. I hope you understand that I fucking mean it. I'm tired of your shit. I kick Jerry out of here. I won't let him come back. And you guessed 340 in the chat room. You better tell me, come in here and tell me who the fuck you are. 
or I'm kicking your ass out right now. Come in here in the chat room. I know you can chat. You're not a guest. You made up that goddamn number. If you were a guest, you'd be guest 4034. So you better tell me who you are right now, or I'm kicking your ass out too. Meanwhile, 346. You got a couple of minutes here. Actually, you got a few seconds here. You've been on hold for a few minutes here. What do you want? Who are you? 6'2", blonde hair. 6'2", blonde hair, blue eyes. 417, who are you? What do you want? Brown hair, brown eyes. Fuck you. Fuck you, ignorant motherfucker. 310, you got a one chance very quick. Yes, Clay. Hello, my name is Jeff. Uh, I'm calling. I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I've got to say I'm getting real sick of these trolls. Uh, my brother and I have been listening to today's show, and we're just disgusted with these motherfuckers. In fact, um, I think my brother has a way he could probably help you out with those. How's Hold that? And he's got an idea. Hold on. Y'all know me. Know how I earn a living. I'll catch this bird for you. It ain't gonna be easy. Bad fish. I'd like going down the bottom chasing bluegills and tommy cocks. All right. You blow you oh, blown it, you're not I can't hear you. Speaking? You you blown it too, hey, God damn you. you. Goodbye. Down you go. We gotta do it quick. Nope. You've lost it. Time's up. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow. All righty, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Free American. I am your host. I am Clay Douglas, the day before the 4th of July. And uh, I will take some calls today. If you start blathering about how tall you are, how long your dick is, or any of that other bullshit, I'll just disconnect you. I've got your number written down. I'll post it on my website. So everybody will know that you're a troll, and I hope they harass the shit out of you. And that strategy has already worked because of the uh, lion troll who said he was from Quebec. He disconnected his number after I gave it out on the air. All right, we still got this going to see uh, what we got here. 602, you're down there in Phoenix. Who are you? What you want? Hey, Clay, this is Andrew calling from Phoenix. Yeah. All right, Andrew, what's on your mind? Uh, it's been 20 years since the Phoenix lights. Have you heard about them? Uh not sure. I was oh, in Phoenix. Ago, I lived uh, in Phoenix 20 years ago, but uh, back when oh, the dirty dozen the got... No. You didn't see them? I was hanging uh, around with the dirty there. dozen there when they mm-hmm. just got started before they uh, joined up with the uh, Angels. Well, I mean, you can Google it, and anybody listening can Google it, the Phoenix Lights. There were uh, seven lights up in the air in Phoenix. Yeah, they uh, they were there after I left. Right. Um, Yeah, the government said that it was flares. Months later, they said that. that's bullshit. It was obvious. The only thing I couldn't tell you is uh, whether they were ours or someone else's, and there's a lot of someone else's flying around in our atmosphere. I mean, I saw I saw what I saw, and uh, the way those, whatever it was, those lights were hovering, there was no way that those were, you know, those were planes or any type of aircraft done with our technology the way it exists now. How fast did they move? They were just, uh, they were just drifting. They were under power. They uh, they was probably a no sound. 
And uh, they probably didn't. Well, they weren't. But, I didn't really see them moving. They were just sort of like bobbing in the air. Yep. Even the governor finally admitted he saw him. The governor of the time. Yeah, the governor, after after he joked about it, at the time he joked about it, and then later, he, once he was out of office, he admitted that, you know, he saw it and that he thought they, they were some sort of alien spacecraft. Well, there are aliens out there. One of my one of my father in laws escorted the little gray from uh, Roswell to the surviving one from the plane uh, from the uh, crash in Roswell. He escorted him to uh, Truman's office. He was telepathic. He was intelligent, and uh, we kept him for a number of years. Yeah, actually, um, um, but there's also wondered, there's also there's also extraterrestrials that uh, you could put them in a room in a lineup and you wouldn't be able to identify them without some kind of physical examination. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I saw one of them. Um, he was eight three. He had violet eyes. Under what uh, situation did you see him? Uh, it was about the morning after the uh, Phoenix Lights. Where at? It ran as soon as I saw it. How tall? Uh, about eight three. If I had to mm. guess. It was kind of hunched over, though, so I can't really, you know, humanoid or say that's just, uh, yeah, humanoid, I mean, I reptilian, or uh, insectoid. It didn't have uh, our sort of skin texture or color, but you know, it was shaped like a human. Reptilian head or. Uh, more like the grays didn't have the features I'd of the human. More, uh, more like insectilian than human, but not a hundred percent. Sort of like a variation between the two. Okay. He's actually here. Do you want to talk to him? Hello, Clay. Can I stick yeah. a finger up your ass and pull out nice, brown nice, stuff? Nice gag, guys. You had it going good. And, and Thank you. It. Thank you very much. Now can I can stick up. my alien insectilian tongue up your mouth, Clay? No. All right. 213. Area code. You're holding. You're on the Free American Hour, Free American with Clay Douglas. Who are you? What do you want? Hey, Clay, how are you? This is Jack. Hello, Jack. What's on your mind I'm here? Calling from, I'm calling from Los Angeles. Okay. I just wanted to tell you... I'm you have my you. you have my condolences. Now... Get to I the point. To you I don't I'm want to know. I don't know what. I don't want to know what you look like. I don't care anything to hear. I don't won't don't, won't listen to your stories about your sex life, and uh, just why are you calling my show other than to harass Fair me? Enough, You're harassing thanks. me. I'll post your number Fair on enough, the phone. Fair enough. Okay. What do you want? Fair enough. I I I just think you should know that I've got uh, blue eyes. Goodbye. I won't do this. I'm not going to listen to your goddamn color of your <laughs> eyes, the length of your dick, or anything like that. Well, my dick is uh, seven and a half inches. Go to hell. Cut. Go to hell. Come back you got when big you can balls grow up. Too. Okay. 804. Hey, Clay. This is uh, Joe. I'm calling. This is Joe. I'm calling from Connecticut. I okay, Joe. 
Um, the alien that I seen, he was actually uh, a little bit taller than what your last caller described. He was about nine foot six. Maybe. Well, um, forget it. I ain't interested in it. Goodbye. Four one eight. Who are you? What are you? Uh, what are you hanging on this line for? What's your reason? What's your name? And what's your reason? I bet your, I, I bet your cum tastes delicious. Goodbye. Don't need you fucking fags in here. Seven three four. I mean, like I said, the alien was huge. It had a huge eight-inch cock you. on it, and I, I wanted to suck it. Yeah, we're sticking up your own ass. I don't need to hear about it. Nine one five. What do you want? Well, I'm almost not even going to ask that question anymore. Too many ignorant fucking fags here. What are you? Hey, Clay. Sorry about all these calls. You're getting. Well, get yours over with or I'll hang up on you now. What did you call for? What's your name? I just wanted to ask you about your plan for the force. None of your business. You're going to take those What's dogs your name? I asked you what your pussy? name is, motherfucker. Hey! I asked your name. You haven't answered that yet. So give me a name or that's my, your last word. My my name is Paul, and I'd love to take candy and shove. Yeah, okay. You're gone, you dumb motherfucker. Hello, 732. Hey, Clay, what kind of pervert are you? Yeah. No, no, no. What's I'm, your name? I'm just a listener. I'm, just, I'm calling in um, in regards to the show. What's yesterday. your I mean, name? What's your oh, name, yeah, first name of Luke, all? This is Lucas. This is Lucas. Okay, Lucas. Now what? From San Diego. I was calling in yesterday. Um, it was uh, my brother Oswald who really got me into your show. Um, he's one of the biggest fans of yours, I think. I, I mean, he's sick and tired of these fake callers calling in, telling you all kinds of gay descriptions about their height and weight. Like, who really cares? You know what I mean? Oh, I certainly don't. There's, as soon as they go into that bullshit... They're not worth talking to, and I hang up on them. Yeah, I almost think they're just running out of material. You know, kind of grasping at straws kind of thing. Well, there's some kind of networks, probably the ADL, set up by the ADL. They specialize in that kind of deal. Yeah, it so, would probably deter them all from calling in. I got you plenty know? to do. I got this whole keyboard's lit up, and I've got two dumb motherfuckers that got blocked numbers. So I'll just kick them well, off right they'll now. Probably call. They'll call and they'll try to tell you how much how much they weigh or you know what their height is because they can't come up with anything new, right? Yep. All right. Well, I gotta go well, and I got good. a good show. So we're looking forward to stay, uh, says hi. Stay back on, listen, uh, listen on the air. Okay. See you later. Right, bye bye. Have a good one. Eight oh five. Eight oh five. Who are you? What do you want? Who uh, are my you? My name is Marcus. My name is Marcus. I'm calling from Missouri. Okay. What uh, do you want, Marcus? How was your Fourth of July, Clay? It was great. I laid in bed, no crowds around me, and watched uh, Macy's fireworks display. It was awesome. Oh, okay. Did you uh, do any masturbating while you uh, were at home or no? You know what? This ain't about masturbating. I don't care how long your dick is, and you're a dumb motherfucker, and you won't go on my show. Goodbye, you stupid son of a bitches. I don't tell you where. We're not talking about sex on here. We're not talking about your dick or mine, so fuck you. You won't be on. 720, what do you want? Who are you? What do you want? Simple questions. Hey, Clay, how are you? I know my name, motherfucker. What's yours? My name? This is Jack. Okay. Hey, Clay, that, Jack is that back. last caller. What the fuck do you want? What the fuck do you hey, want, Clay. fag? Hey, Clay, uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm 5'10". 
I've okay. got brown eyes. Thank you very much for being a fucking okay. idiot, you dumb son of a bitch. 585. Want to end the conversation real quick? Tell me your name and how tall you are. Hello? Yeah, hello. You got on the fucking telephone. What's your name? Where are you? And what the fuck do you want with me? Hey, Clay, this is Robert. Yeah, okay, Robert. I'm calling from New Orleans. I don't know. that. There's a lot of Roberts out there. The only one I know is a dumb, lying motherfucker. Uh, You're probably the same one. What the fuck do you want with me? You think it's funny? uh, You think it's funny, dickhead? I just wanted to tell you to uh, make sure to pick up the condom that I left last night. Okay, you're the you're the same you're, lying, so you, lying child your chicken doesn't jet. Find it. Robert, you're nowhere near me, and you're an insulting motherfucker. Goodbye. How about 732? What the fuck kind of pervert are you calling in? Want to interrupt my show? Hey, what hey, do you want? No, hey, Who are you? Steven what do you want? Here. It's Steven. Steven. I'm okay, calling. Steven. Uh, oh, Where are you? Hey, sorry for that, that last caller. Um, I'm calling from Ohio. Um, Clay, I uh, hope you had a good weekend. I look forward to your show every day pretty much. Um, now, what I'm calling about is I'm actually, I was hoping to get some information. I'm in Ohio now. I've been told by the local authorities here that there's actually a ban on, on owning um, too many animals. I know you're, you're a, a lover of dogs yourself. Now, is that something that can legally happen here in, in the States? Like I had to take my dog to the vet. Uh, later today, and I was told that um, I wouldn't be able to take more than one of them. I have no idea. You have to check with your state statutes. I don't think that sounds right, but I don't know. No, neither do I. I know. I got them all here. Rascal, mine. Um, is there yeah. anything I can okay. Do? You just sound like another troll here. You got your, you, you've got your sound effects in the background. I'm tired of hearing it. Goodbye. San Francisco here, 415. Who are you? What do you want? Hey, Clay. This is Phil from San Francisco. How's it going, Okay, man? Phil. Hey, Clay. Everybody? I just wanted to give you... Uh, hey, man. I just wanted to give you the heads up. Uh, over the weekend, I signed you up for some uh, gay dating websites. And, thank, uh, I thank you, ignorant motherfucker. Go to hell. Go to hell. Get off my fucking foot sight, you ignorant son of a bitches. I bet a few of you do that. I'm, I'm not gay. I don't tolerate gay people. Nobody puts your hands on me. And you're a ignorant motherfucker for doing that. 346. Very good. 346. Hey, Who are you? What do you want? Hey, I got your number off of uh, J Day. Number ain't on J Day. They're just bullshit. That's it. Through with you ignorant motherfuckers. Goodbye. <laughs>